Welcome to the BYU Family History Library. This video provides instructions for using the audacityteam.org software to digitize audio files from a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder to your flash drive, external hard drive, or online storage website. The tape recorder used in this instruction is a Sonymatic Model TC-106A monophonic reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder located in the BYU Family History Library. However, the controls on most tape recorders are very similar and the digitizing process is controlled by the Audacity software. Before explaining the details of the process, here are some general instructions. The BYU Family History Library has a very useful collection of electronic equipment for scanning and digitizing books, documents, photographs, photographic slides, 8mm and Super 8mm movie film, VHS cassettes, 8mm video cassettes, audio cassettes, and Betamax tapes. All this equipment is available for use by patrons of the library free of charge during the time the library is open. However, it is best to contact the library through its website and click on the link to the scanning equipment page to check equipment availability. If you have a BYU login, you can then use this page to reserve a time to use the equipment. If you do not have a BYU login, then you can see the times available for using the equipment and contact the Family History Library help desk to make a reservation. Please be aware that some of your audio tape recordings may be protected by copyright law. You are responsible for determining if any specific audio tape recordings are covered by some country's copyright laws. Becoming aware of the copyright restrictions that apply to the audio recordings you're interested in digitizing is an important part of being a responsible researcher. Make sure you know how and where your files will be stored by the software before you start digitizing. If you are uncertain how to save your files, you can ask for help at the help desk. You should not store your digitized files on the BYU Family History Library computers. Any files left on the computers will automatically be erased when you log off. So it is advisable to use your own flash drive, hard drive, or online storage website to store your scanned images. The Help Desk has helpful Get Started instruction sheets for using the equipment. Please take a moment to review the instructions before starting to use the equipment. Digitizing your audio is done in real time. This means that the time it will take to digitize the audio tape will take as long as the original recording. Please set aside enough time to digitize your entire tape or tapes. You will need to log on to the to library's computer. You can get a temporary login and password from the help desk. Here are the steps for using Audacity to digitize an audio tape from a tape recorder. Make sure there is a cable from the EXT socket on the tape recorder to the line in socket on the computer using an appropriate cable. The most common type of cable used for this purpose is a 3.5 millimeter jack to jack cable. To listen to the tape, you will need to also plug the headphones into the mic or monitor out of the tape recorder. Make sure that the tape recorder is on and the tape reel is winding in the correct direction to play the recording. You may want to listen to the audio on the tape before beginning to digitize the tape to see if the sound needs to be turned up or down. The audio tape needs to be digitized at the same speed that it was recorded. If the sound from the tape is too fast or too slow, use the selector on the tape recorder to adjust the speed of the playback. There are basically four controls on the tape recorder, the volume control, the tone control, the recording speed, and the directional control for forward, reverse, and stop. Open Audacity on your computer. The Audacity program is a free online open source program that works with Windows, Mac, and Linux. When the program opens, you should see a blank project with a waveform display. 
Look in the lower left-hand corner of the screen for the project rate, Hertz, or HZ. This is the setting to control the sound quality of the digital file. Click on the down arrow to make sure the project rate is set to 44100 or higher. Audio sampling is the process of transforming a tape-recorded audio file into a digital file. Digital audio recording does this by taking samples of the audio source along the sound waves at regular intervals. The more samples you take, known as the sample rate, the more closely the final digital file will resemble the original. A higher sample rate tends to deliver a better quality audio reproduction, but at the same time increases the file size. Sampling your audio tape at a higher sampling rate than the original recording will not increase the quality of the sound. The suggested rate is 44100. The next settings start in the upper left-hand corner of the Audacity screen. The first of these are the controls for recording, fast-forward, rewind, pause, and stop recording. The next tools to the right are used for editing the audio file once it is recorded. I will not cover the functions of these tools. There are several videos on youtube.com that can teach you how to edit audio files using Audacity. The next setting to the right is the audio setup. Select the tape recorder as the recording device. If the tape recorder does not appear, select the EXT or external option. Make sure the recording volume is turned up. Press play on your tape recorder and click the red record button on Audacity. You should see the waveform display start to fill up with the audio data. If you cannot hear the tape with the earphones, check the audio setup and make sure that the headphones are selected in the playback device option. When the tape is finished playing, click the stop button in Audacity. You should now have a waveform of the recorded audio. You may want to edit the audio at this point, such as removing unwanted sections or adjusting the volume. Use the various editing tools available in Audacity to do this. Once you're happy with the edited audio, export it as a digital audio file. In the top toolbar, select File and then Export. Name your file and choose the appropriate file format and save the file to your desired location. You will usually save your file in the MP3 format. That's it. You've now successfully digitized an audio tape from your tape recorder using Audacity. Make sure you have all your tapes in your flash drive. When you leave, return the instruction sheet to the help desk. We thank you for your interest in using the equipment in the BYU Family History Library and hope that you will take advantage of the opportunity provided to preserve your ancestral heritage. Keep learning and thanks for watching.